what up guys nakamoto crypto here congratulations min swap they are now the second largest dex on the entire Carano ecosystem according to DeFi llama and this is in terms of tvl that is total value locked today we're going to take a deep dive into this Carano dex min swap and what they have upcoming and also their amazing tokenomics that have the potential to make you an easy 10x from short to long term just like liquid finance did when we talked about it on this channel stay tuned like and subscribe let's get to it so minswap recently surprised everybody and they just exploded upon launching their mainnet app now on DeFi Llama, the total value locked in the entire Cardano system when it comes to DeFi is $200 million right now as we speak. Sunday Swap controls 55.7% of all of that as we speak and MinSwap just jumped out of nowhere and they are now controlling 87% of the entire liquidity when it comes to DeFi TVL. This is absolutely amazing. Congratulations to MinSwap. Their DEX is now live on the mainnet. You can now do your swaps and also provide liquidity and yield farm in these selected farms. Ada MinSwap, Ada Liquid Finance, Ada Meld, Pavia. Almost all of these Cardano supported tokens are now live on MinSwap and this is absolutely working. Now, the roadmap is simple. The mainnet just launched in quarter one of 2022 and the security audit is upcoming, liquidity mining. And for quarter two of 2022, you're gonna wanna pay attention to this one right here. That is decentralized autonomous organizations and community self-governance token. I've been telling you this year is the DAO year, decentralized autonomous organization. We've already made an easy 10x with liquid finance. You're going to want to keep an eye on Carano DAO tokens that are popping up right now. Some of them are in the making. They haven't even been ready yet in terms of making their tokens. But yeah, quarter two of 2022, look into MinSwap, uh, decentralized autonomous organizations uh, min swap DAO tokens or any of them that come up you're gonna want to have a look into these if you jump on to their token distribution it is just absolutely amazing look at this not only that you will be able to stake min swap tokens or any other token you will be able to earn the profit sharing with min swap from these trading fees and also huge huge apys on the mainnet launch to reward early community adopters with a lockup period this is like a certificate of deposit pretty much and then the number two reason why you should be getting into the min swap tokens no financial advice you are looking into burning and deflationary mechanisms by economic activities such as ifos or in a form of a lottery so the entire supply of min swap according to music swap right now is just 5 billion min swap mint tokens now alongside those 5 billion tokens you are looking at 150 million tokens that are currently circulating and this is absolutely very very small so if this launches the ifo and also lotteries launches you are looking at min swap mint tokens that will be deflationary by burning so this is what they are telling you burning deflationary mechanisms by economics uh, activities will be coming into fruition and just like binance the more they burn the more the price of a mint token will absolutely explode and right now the price of a min swap token is around 30 cents of an ada which is absolutely cheap to pick up on right now you can buy them on music swap you can also buy them on min swap decks now look at this amazing tokenomics 70 percent of these tokens will be locked into yield farming 2.5 percent allocated into the fizo airdrop and six percent will go into the dow treasury with 1.5 percent going into incentives and partnerships and 10 percent will go into the development fund and the core team only owns 10 percent of that 5 billion supply of the mint tokens this is absolutely fair tokenomics let us know in the comment section below what do you think about mint swaps tokenomics they distribute it fairly so that explains why the TVL on DeFi Lama jumped up this much because of 
the high rewards on yield farming when it comes to muesli swap and that is the power of cardano right now everybody is laughing at cardano for obvious reasons billions of dollars are locked into ethereum and terra luna and all of these other projects and cardano is just locking in 200 million dollars into DeFi. this is absolutely small but it is growing in numbers. Carano is growing every single day. These numbers were just a hundred million dollars last week and the week before that. So DeFi will continue to jump in and once ERC20 converters come in and also layer two solutions such as ZK rollups coming into the Carano ecosystem this year to support scalability, this thing will explode into the billions and another bullish news for cardano is this right here the number of cardano addresses just recently reached 3.5 million addresses and these wallet addresses are growing every single day this number was only about a million addresses just last year by the end of the year it grew exponentially and even though we are in a bear market the amazing thing is that people are still joining cardano every single day the wallet holders now the active wallets are actually just $136,800 the explanation for that is that it's a bear market some newbies probably just bought ADA the price tanked and then they just left it on their wallet like that but the important thing is that those people will come back around and experience DeFi they will come back around and experience just holding Cardano pretty much and once they get back into crypto you best believe that they will be buying more Cardano they will be staking ADA they will be getting into Cardano DeFi they would want to know the entire protocol and how everything works in the Cardano ecosystem. Another cool thing is the market is slowly recovering right now Bitcoin is still holding that $40,000 mark who would have thought I mean, this time around in 2018, Bitcoin was on its way down from 20,000 all the way down to like $3,100 pretty much. That was the worst crash in crypto history at the time. And then two years later, the pandemic, March of 2020, you already know what happened. Bitcoin tanked from 9,000, 7,000 all the way down to $3,200, which turned out to be a blessing for those who picked up Bitcoin that cheap because a year later in April of 2021, you already know what happened. Bitcoin went from $3,200 all the way up to $64,000. And that is the power of crypto diamond hand you need to hodl and long term you will make a lot of money ethereum same thing 90 bucks at the time a year later four thousand dollars per ethereum binance bnb i picked it up at 23 dollars per bnb it went all the way up to 600 dollars last year 2021 was just amazing because it was the growth was organically you made money from one coin and then a week later you made more money with another coin compared to the bull market of 2017 2018 which was like bitcoin peaked in december at twenty thousand dollars and then on its way to dropping in january of 2018 the liquidity bounced from bitcoin to the altcoins that's why everybody was using that expression the very first altcoin season because in january of 2018 all altcoins just exploded cardano went from literally a few cents to like a dollar 36 before bouncing back ethereum went to 40 hundred dollars from literally 15 20 dollars pretty much and even coins like xrp exploded from 0.002 all the way up to three dollars but last year we did not have an altcoin season we've had waves so DeFi took over in 2020 and then in 2021 meme coins took over such as dogecoin shiba inu and then you've had the nft market that just pretty much ate everybody else so whatever altcoin season was supposed to have the nft market stole the show last year and then towards the end of the year beginning of this year you are looking at metaverses so there's plenty plenty of opportunities to make money in this market and that is the power of cryptocurrencies despite the fact that we are still in a bear market you're gonna want to look into these layer ones as this time around adaption will happen a lot of people are waiting for these prices to bottom my theory is what if they don't bottom at all because back in 2017 the only altcoin that had utility pretty much was ethereum it was literally just at the beginning st stages of people building stuff on eth 
Now, all the other altcoins, including Cardano, BNB, they all had nothing. They were at their infancies. Four years later, Cardano has already something up and running. Shelly, Alonzo Hard Fork, Smart Contracts, DeFi, everything is live on Cardano right now. With people staking Cardano, what if it doesn't bottom at 90% down pretty much? What if it drops down 50% and then just keeps but uh, continues to rally back up? So this time around, altcoins have utility. So you best believe that some of these layer ones will not drop down as low as 90%. We have to have some sort of cataclysmic event such as the one that happened on Black Thursday back in March of 2020 for something like that to happen. And if it happens, this that should be your biggest opportunity to buy some of your top altcoins that you always wanted to hold but they were just simply too high for you to hold with that being said what are your thoughts on min swap what are your thoughts on cardano DeFi? do you like cardano DeFi? let us know in the comment section below like up the video share it subscribe for some crypto content i have been mr nakamoto crypto and i'm out